Hey guys, this is Judd DeRay. This is a message for Hollywood. I I don't want to do any more stupid films. Cookie cutter films. I'm here because I want to do movies like the type of films that Dennis Woodruff would make. So please don't don't message me if you don't have something new, something creative, something invigorating. That's all. Signing off. I didn't know why. I didn't know what it had, what it did, why it did, why this is happening. I didn't know why it was happening, but it did. It happened. It happened to me. Yeah. It happened to me. And it happened to you. And it can't be stopped. Only by me. I'm the one. It can only be me. It can only happen this way. The world doesn't know that the world is coming to an end and it's all up to me it's all up to me to change the destiny of the earth and the planet it's all up to me Little bit, little bit more. What the fuck is going on with your body? Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, oh, where am I? Oh, 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 oh. What time is it? Did I eat? Oh, oh, who's our president? If there is a god or whoever the fuck's watching over me, what the fuck am I doing kneeling in my hand? What the fuck? Oh my god, oh, I didn't use a bathroom. I don't even know how to fucking, I don't know how to clean my shit. Bobby, daddy, where am I? Oh, oh fuck, I gotta get out of here. Dad. Dad? Dad, are you... I told you not to hide from me, Dad. It's your son. I've called you, I've written you. You must be where the UFOs are, Dad. But Dad, my childhood and everything we went through, Dad. And I know the aliens are going to come and get me. But Dad, I need to hear from you, Dad. Dad! The whole world, the world is gone. But I promise, Mr. Aliens, I didn't do it. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. There's a dog still alive. How is there a dog? It must be the aliens. Take me! 
take me now. I didn't do it, Dad. I didn't do it. Fuck.
Yeah, here we are with KNX News, and we've got an interview here with Dr. Weingarten. Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know this sounds bizarre. We all know about the epidemic. I heard about it. I've been doing research continuously 24 hours a day in my laboratory, and I think I'm very close to developing a vaccine to kill off the claw so it doesn't happen to people. I think it's a, it's a certain connection in the brain and it's neurological and I think once I inject this fluid into people's veins that we will cure the, the claw and I know it's, a, it's serious and thousands of people are dying from it and nobody knows what to do. Get in touch with me, I will give you the injection and hopefully we can come up for a cure for the claw. Thank you. Dude, okay, so like I heard that there's this thing going around and there's a claw and it's killing people. And I hope it doesn't happen to me. What? Fuck that, I heard about that. I hope it doesn't happen to me. Fuck all that. It's scary. Oh my god, did you hear about Aubrey? No, what about her? She cut up her husband. What? And she fed the son of a bitch to all of her friends. Oh, gross. Was he at least tasty or what? I mean, I don't know, but he totally had it coming. The guy <laughs> was awful. Yeah, he was really an asshole. I know. Isn't that the funniest thing? Yeah, it's hilarious. Like, Aubrey is a, oh my god. Could you crazy. imagine? I little Aubrey. Cutting up this big fat dude. I don't. How is she even? Really, really, By the way, isn't that guy supposed to be the here? Doctor. Yeah. I mean, it's getting late. Doctor Franco Steve. Yeah. What the name is that? Oh, hi, girls. Oh. oh. Doctor Franco Steve. Hi. At hi. your service. Nice to meet you. Yes. Give yes. me a hand, will you? Oh wow. <laughs> Listen, my methods are a bit strange, but. I get the job done. Now let's talk about the claw. Right. The claw is an epidemic, and people are coming to me to solve the claw. And I hope you brought that thousand dollars you talked about for the injection. A thousand dollars? I don't remember you saying that. No. A bit pricey, don't you think? Yeah. Well, listen, I make a living now. I'm the only one in town that does the mobile, mobile business where I come to you give you an examination. Now, first of all, I have to check to make sure uh, your heart's working. Okay, yeah, I don't think that's there. where my yeah, that, heart... Yeah, that sounds good. Um, yeah, yes. you got a good over pulse. Here. Um, let me see over here. Your brain is working. So listen, uh, yeah, I love you. This was actually one of my patients uh, with the claw, and I severed their hand with a meat cleaver and I save it to show you what could happen if you don't get this yeah. procedure. Um, I, anyway, I'm a graduate. Well, not really. I, I, I got my certificate off the internet. What? And it turned out that the, the, it was owned by Donald Trump and they went out of business. So. But I'm still practicing because I'm good. But I'll tell you something. With this... What? With this magic potion, not even connected. Yeah, that does yeah. not look real. No, it is. It looks is. like a toy. No, it isn't. It isn't. It just looks like that. But anyway, with this, you will live forever and you'll uh, never have a problem again. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, this guy is a quack. Let's get out of here. What do you yeah. mean? I don't think no. so. Don't hey, know. wait a minute. No, no. Wait, wait a minute. minute. No, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, girls. <laughs> give me a. Give me a. <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn it. Why does this happen to me? Girls, come back! No! We're leaving! That's Hollywood. So the claw is something that people people get... The claw is no joke. The claw is no joke. Okay? <laughs> you know, the claw... Okay, this is a hand. The, the hand turns into a claw. Okay, when the, when the, I don't want to call him a victim, but when the claw comes into a person, the claw takes over that person. 
and it eventually takes over that person's life, okay? The hand turns into the claw, and the claw kills the person whose hand it is. Or someone else. Once they are, di once they are dead, the claw is still alive. There's been a couple cases where the claws actually killed another person when the person was dead. I think it's several hours until the claw actually dies. Now let me ask you too, there's cases where the hand is severed and it still attacks other people and kills it, unless it's burned up in a fire. You're, you're absolutely correct. Um, the claw, um, again, I've been working with with the claw and other paranormal, um, um, how would you say, a phenomenon like this, and I've never seen anything like the claw. The claw actually takes over the body. And how uh, how well spread uh, is it uh, spreading? Uh, is it uh, just in it's Los Angeles, spread. or uh, it where spread. is it? As far as we know, it's in forty three different countries. No way. Forty three different countries that we know about. Uh, most widespread in the city of Los Angeles for some reason. Are you that doctor that supposedly has a cure for the claw? I mean, I'm getting these tremors. I, I've heard that you're a friend of David Lynch's and you might have a cure for this. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I do have the serum, but uh, you know, I'm gonna have to inject it into your neck, you know? Well, and uh, I really need that serum quick. Otherwise, yes. otherwise I can tell, I can barely hold back. Please, shoot okay. me up. Okay, here. Oh no, I think it's too late. You're dying? Oh no, not another one. When people find out that this is in my laboratory, but it's hidden. I can save the world of the claw. Yes, it's right here in this vaccine I inject every day. Yeah, I know it's gonna be great. Oh no, no, it can't happen to me. No. Yeah, that's gonna make it a much better movie. Put the syringe on it. There, oh, yeah, God, yes.